It's already been three years since we started our action, Move It for Madagascar, in the Vatomandri region. Victims of extreme poverty and devastating cyclones, the educational sector was seriously damaged. We've come a long way over three years, thanks to your involvement and with the help of the association CARE, the results are clear to see. We invited Marial, Ariane and Sarah to come here and share with our Malagasy friends the success of this project. First, we headed to the village of Ambotitavulo. Sarah was up at the break of dawn to go and waken Juliana. It's 4.30 a.m. in Ambotitavulo, and so it's time for school. So I'm going to go and wake up Juliana. This eight-year-old little girl lives with her sister and parents in a traditional home. Juliana, it's time for school. <laughs> Like all children all over the world, Juliana has breakfast and gets ready for school. Juliana likes to chum along with her best friend on the 20 minute walk to school. It was a sacrifice for Juliana's mum Yvonne to accept that she went to school rather than working in the fields. But thanks to awareness programmes for parents, she quickly understood that it would be beneficial for everyone. We're here, in front of the gate. To salute the flag before going into school is a respected duty here. Juliana is one of the little Malagasy girls who today have the opportunity to benefit from good quality education from trained teachers. This was unimaginable a few years ago. The children now benefit from basic essentials to facilitate learning, educational books and pedagogical materials. All the children are really, really engaged. He seems very passionate about his subject. Here, a pen is precious. No way do you want to lose it. And, as in any good school day, the best part is playtime. over. It's time to go home. Let's leave Juliana and Sarah for the moment. For Ariane and Marial, our other two ambassadors, it's back to school. They also took part in improving daily school life for the children. In the village of Mahatsara, Marial is meeting up with Simonette. This is Simonette. She is my friend of the day. Mum to a 10-year-old daughter, Simonette is off to her AVEC meeting. This association, supported by Lyrico for Education, works on a basis of microcredit. Parents have access to small loans, which help them improve their money-making activities. Parents are really motivated because they have access to more uh, activities, income-generating activities, in order to get money to fund their uh, children's uh, need of uh, scholarity. Today, Simonette needs some cash to buy rushes to make mats. It's the opportunity for Marielle to try her hand at wicker work. It's not easy. Although in all fairness, Simonette is the village expert. In a week, uh, usually how many carpets uh, you will be able to do it? Tell. Tell, okay. Okay. Hardly finished and the mat has already been snapped up. Great! 
Simonette can now pay back her loan and buy some school supplies for her daughter Eliane. Thanks to the association, women have greatly gained in autonomy. Now they can more easily manage the family's budget. Uh, you're actually getting more money to support your children's education. So what is your expectation towards your kids' uh, growth in the coming years? While dinner is simmering, our two other ambassadors are learning how to plant crops. It's the end of the second day and already we have seen so much progress. Day three and Ariane meets up with Nico, a 14-year-old boy who lives in the village of Analtsara. Good morning, nice to meet you. How are you? My name is Ariane. Nico wants to show Ariane how much his school has improved over the past three years. You have to walk a few hundred meters across the village. After a few distractions along the way, we get to the gate. The playground has been carefully arranged with young trees freshly planted. Nico, are you going to take care of the garden and to cut a little bit the grass and to water the plants? Nico also wants to show us the toilets, which have been completely replanned and renovated. And of course, we haven't forgotten the boys. Wash your hands is one of the messages of the WASH committee, of which Nico and his parents are part of. They are learning basic habits, how to clean the, 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 the body, how to clean the feet, how to clean their hands. And this is very important for them because later on they will explain this in the house. So they will teach their parents how to keep a basic hygiene. How do you feel now that you have a nice, pretty nice classroom, uh, uh, new latrines, uh, new fans? Do you feel secure? How do you feel here in this area? On their side, Sarah and Marial have joined other parents to build a new home for the teacher. At last, the final touch. <laughs> Thanks to our actions, the parents of Anala Tsara have understood that with a little organisation, we could have better sanitary conditions and more pleasant living conditions. And a lovely school is a school which attracts children and encourages them to stay. But what if a new cyclone came and swept away all these efforts? Back to Tsara Tanana, Julieta wants to reassure us. Sarah, Ariane and Marial are taking advantage of the final moments with their new friend. It's time to say goodbye. Our three ambassadors leave behind them all these actions which, thanks to you, bear their fruit day after day. By the end, 17,000 children will profit from a quality education. 34,000 parents will benefit from awareness programmes and 250 teachers and staff will be trained. Let's keep up the efforts and... Woo!